One of the biggest shortcomings in the current model of digital design is that there's a process by which a workflow consists of designing, then going to the computer, and then going to physical model. Vince and I sort of reunited last summer at a not-for-profit event, and we got to talking and kind of discovered we had a common research interest in augmented reality, and that's sort of what lit the fire for this project. With this technology, we're able to circumvent that whole entire issue by quickly going from digital models into built reality. So whether it's from a scale model to full-scale on-site usage, it's allowing the students to actually visualize their designs. I know augmented reality is the new thing in technology. It's very cutting edge and it's being used in video games and other applications worldwide. And it's already been used in architecture, but I'm really interested and really happy to be a part of it being used inside of the classroom to teach architecture because augmented reality is normally used to visualize a design that's finalized to show it to a client. But what we're doing right now is using it to visualize designs that are still in the making. Entrepreneurship is more than just simply bringing your ideas to commercial viability. Ryerson's been great in allowing me to collaborate with others, as well as providing great internal funding to bring my ideas to reality. Software has a wide variety of applications. What we're specifically interested in is bringing digital architectural projects or speculative projects into the physical world. This can assist students, developers, practicing architects, and even engineers as a way of allowing their clients and stakeholders to intuitively understand how their designs will manifest in the physical world. Of course, this application can extend beyond the architecture design industry and go into interior design, planning, and certainly other engineering disciplines. The great thing about this is that it goes beyond simply just design and it goes into commercial application as well. Working with Vince has been great. It's definitely been invaluable for my experience at Ryerson. I had him as a studio professor in my first semester, first year for Communication Studio. And since then, he has given me the opportunity to work on several very interesting projects, including this one.